despite having won the right to vote for more than 100 years, women are still um, thinking about why they haven't become equal to men. The students from the 11th grade have thought of some ideas and they would like to share their views. Who would like to start? Alexandra? Yeah, would it be the first? Okay. Um, so uh, I'm going to have a dialogue with Anna about women in parliament and women in positions of power because I think that women are not as represented as they should be in, um, in media in general in positions of leadership and I feel like this is something that should be really uh, thought upon because I feel like decisions made by women in general are a lot more representative for every minority and every social group and because it is such um, a, an empty seat in the parliament waiting for a woman to be to be occupied by I feel like that might be just the right opportunity for I don't know another minority to have uh, a voice that represents them because I feel like there are many things that are not as understood as uh, as it should be, and women being part of a category of society that does not benefit from every facility that it should benefit from, I feel like they understand the best what not uh, being included in a social group means or not having uh, access to every type of need they, they might have. And uh, Anna, what do you think about this? Do you agree? Yes, I agree with you because I think it's like the world uh, is like a big family and just like in our own families, men do the physical work, but women deal with the hard problems and with the, with, I don't know, mental issues, I think, because they have to deal with a lot of problems and um, with the money, with the kids, with everything, and they know how to take care of, of the, the other people and uh, to show love. And I think we need to show love for everybody and not just to order and to expect everybody to do what we want. Do you have questions for Alexandra? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Maybe you have questions for Alexandra, I say? I want to see what she has to say. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, Andrea. Hello, Gami. I'm so glad to see you. What are you doing here? Well, I'm here to submit my documents to run for the position of president of the country. <laughs> are you kidding? No, why did I joke about that? Um, because you are a woman, we are not able to hold such a high position. What are you useless thinking? I don't understand what you say that. Well, uh, men uh, uh, are um, able to uh, to lead a group of people or a country and, uh, and they have all the necessary qualities to do that. And I think women uh, are not able to do that. They should stay home, take care of the kids, uh, clean the house or whatever. I don't agree with you at all. In countries like Estonia, Chile or Malta, there are female presidents and they are doing a really good job in uh, running their, their country. Well, I didn't know that. So it seems really interesting. Maybe I thought wrong. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you thought wrong. Uh, you men always uh, think that such jobs are made only for you. Yeah, you're right, Andrea. Uh, women should encourage women to uh, uh, to uh, become presidents or a director, uh, and uh, uh, they uh, have all the necessary qualities like uh, we are, uh, we have. So I'm sorry for my wrong thinking. No problem. I uh, I'm glad that I made you change your mind. Thank you. <laughs> I got questions for Gabriel and Andrea uh, Alexander. What made you change your mind? Um, because um, uh, she told me that uh, in other countries uh, there are women uh, that uh, are president uh, and uh, I think that's uh, interesting and it's possible like uh, the men are. Uh, so uh, my, uh, my thinking was uh, wrong and uh, all the men uh, need to change their thinking about that.
rational, I feel like it would be a really nice balance that can come up with the decisions that will please everyone. So I think that it would be way better. Mm -hmm. I have two more people, so instead if you would like to come closer, we have Angelica and uh, Ariana who would like to say some words. Also a dialogue? Yes. Okay. Um, Ariana, uh, taking into account that the elections are coming I have an idea that I would like to share with you. You know that we've been working hard lately in learning about the current issues in politics and trying to make a difference. I think that we should run for a position in the European Parliament because then we may actually be able to change something in the system. I don't think we'll have success because that's a man's field and we'll be seen just like two little bugs against them. And even though we may be qualified for that position, men who are less competent in us will always be chosen first. I see where you're coming from because women are heavily underestimated when it comes to leadership positions and decision making. Um, despite that, I think we may actually have uh, success and we could succeed because women have a lot of qualities that make them great leaders. Um, for example, we can prove that we are uh, motivated by challenges and we are more persistent. Um, I think that in most work fields, women are held to higher standards than men, and that makes us more efficient and determined to achieve our goals. You make a good point, and if I think more about it, we could use our ability to block our emotional side and rely only on the rational one in making decisions, proving to men that they underestimate us without any evidence. And also, we may use our ability to uh, use the energy, feminine, feminine energy, in this field to create a more productive work environment and a good team to be in the past and relationship established and uh, our vision saw different topics. And then it's settled, we will be official candidates. Mm -hmm. Now, thank you. Have you got questions for the girls? Anna has one. Um, I want to ask you what makes you feel so confident and oh, either of you and uh, even those feminine qualities that are seen as a weakness like kindness and um, a desire to um, work in teams and to uh, listen to the ideas of everyone, those can be strong points and can help you in your future career. Well, at the end of this, an idea struck me. Let's see, after these dialogues, how many of you would vote for a woman candidate if they were to become the president of Romania. So if you were to cast a vote today, how many of you would vote for a woman president? Ah, oh, Mario, I saw you didn't want to vote for a woman president. Now, let's be honest. In this case, I'll change the question. How many of you would still vote for a man, male president, despite of what was said today? Mario, not even you? Okay. So, what actually we have to understand that it's not being a woman or being a man that is the best quality of a human being. It is the fact that they have to prove rationality and understanding and tolerance for the rest of the population. So, we thank you all and goodbye. <laughs>